the way we're going to do that is just system dot out dot print line and what we're going to put here is just a prompt give the user some choices so I like to uh, start everything in a new line just to, to make sure everything is neat and clear enter 0 for load a library plus new line enter one for add book no sorry you know what let's let's say enter one for save and quit plus new line um, enter two for list all books in library plus enter three for add book to library now our code seems kind of uh, kind of messed up I'll show you a, a nice uh, pretty cool trick to fix to have a, a Eclipse fix it for us make it neater so go ahead and hold control shift F ah much better wow that is magic man if I could marry Eclipse I'm telling you right now if I can marry Eclipse I would marry Eclipse I don't need a who needs a girlfriend when you can have Eclipse anyways I digress alright so we're gonna create a uh, int answer and this answer is just gonna be what our user what our user chose so the way we're gonna do that is just call our scanner and call next int and now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna use a, a switch so we're gonna switch on the answer so case the answer is zero case the uh, user enters zero we're gonna do this do stuff break break out of the loop and start over so once you hit break it goes here and then if it's still running it does the whole thing over again now let's go to case two sorry case one and then do some stuff break again case two do some stuff break case three do some stuff then break all right let's do uh, let's do case one first and case one we said case zero sorry case zero we said we're gonna load a library and the way we're gonna do that is um, by using a file input stream but before we do that I actually wanna prompt the user one more time and say system.out.println enter file name to load we're gonna give the user uh, freedom to choose the file name when he saves and loads so he can choose which library he wants to use so enter the file name to load <clears throat> and I'm sorry guys if my voice is breaking uh, I've been I've been doing this tutorial for uh, for about 30 minutes now I think so let me just take a sip of water we're almost done about 10 more minutes or five more minutes then we're done I'd say 10 more minutes because I do want to demo this and show you uh, that it really does run and I'm not just fooling you, fooling you 
And now what we're going to do is create a file input stream. Now if you want more information uh, about what a file input stream is, you guys can look it up online. But this is basically what I'm showing you right now is basically how you write, how you read a file. Generally, how you read a file. So import this. And we also need a, an object input stream. I'm going to call it in and set it to null. Now, I'm also going to create a file. I'm going to call it file. And I'm going to say new file and the file name. Remember, the file name that we set up. No, we haven't set up a file name yet. Um, so we need to set that up. So we need to set up a file name. Um, hold on. Right here. So all we need to do is say string file name. Um, you know what? Let's change this to name. Equals our scanner in dot next. Instead of next int, we say next so that it returns a string. And just import this object input stream. Just put some spaces. Also import this file, Java IO. All right. Now we have to, uh, now that we have our everything set up, so let's do uh, FOS equals new file output stream name. Oh, oh my god, sorry, what am I doing? Uh, we set up this file name to be null because we want to use it. So we don't need to create this, this string. Just use that string, which is null. So file. Sorry about that, guys. Let's change it to file name. And this is not supposed to be named. This actually takes in a file. There you go. And just import this oh man what am I doing not file out output stream file input stream I am so sorry guys there we go and this is not I file input stream and it says we need to uh, add surround this with a try and catch so let's so let's do that all right we also need to set our, uh, hold on, I'm looking at the wrong thing, that's why. Here we go. Actually, before we uh, even do this, we need to check if our file exists. So if file exists, We're gonna do this. Otherwise, otherwise we're gonna do something else. So Control Shift F. There we go. Format it a little bit. All right. Just follow along with me. Uh, in equals new object input stream. And this takes in a file input stream. So I'm gonna pass in FIS.